Do you really want to see what the future of transportation looks like? Stay tuned. I'm about to share a video that's about three minutes long. Watch the whole thing. It is a great preview, a great illustration of what the future of transportation looks like. Now, as you watch this, two things I want you to consider. First and foremost, as you're watching this, I want you to consider what types of transportation are included in this presentation that are going to be completely absolved and cannibalized by this future technological advancement. And second, what is not included? This is a very good, I know there's other videos out there, but this is a very good presentation and illustration into the ghost of Christmas future. So again, two things as you watch this, specifically think what types of transportation services are going to be cannibalized by this transportation revolution. And secondly, what is not included in this video. Now, if you just watch that, clearly, if you are an ambulatory-based service, you're done. 
If you are a fixed route operator, you're done. If you're operating a shuttle service in a lot of big cities, you're done. If you're operating a, I'm gonna say paratransit, paratransit, that terminology, the definition kind of varies by state, but uh, for most uh, paratransit providers that operate off fixed routes, this and that, you're done. Now, what does that video not include? It does not demonstrate that this, and I love, understand, I love technology. I love the disruption. I love the automation. I'm looking forward one day to having my own automated driverless car because I can travel all over the place and get a boatload more work done, bottom line. So I'm looking forward to it, number one. Um, but again, I've been sounding this alarm for so many years. For those of you who've been watching my content for any length of time, you know that literally since like 2015, I've been telling you what's coming and you need to start transitioning your business model. But so many people are so much smarter than me and my team and everybody that we work with around the country. It's, I love it. So many people are so much smarter than me that they put their head in the sand. They're like the ostriches put their head in the dirt that they just refuse to acknowledge what's happening around them. Technology is happening, so you either embrace it or you don't. And if you don't, you're gonna be overtaken by it. That's why I tell people, if you are not constantly growing and advancing, then you, by default, are declining, regressing. Bottom line, because things are happening around you and if you are not moving with them, leveraging them, then you're just a victim of them. So if you're not growing, you're dying. There's no in-between, there's no stalemate because things around you, the environment, the ecosystem is continuing to grow, evolve, and enhance. And it's gonna leave you behind, bottom line. So either leverage it and you leverage time or time and technology is absolutely gonna leverage you. Um, you know, I got an email recently from a guy who, um, he, I'm not gonna name any names, and I'm not gonna name the distinction, the award that he got. He made sure to let us know that he got this award to kind of you know, puff up his chest and let us know that he has credibility. He got this award from uh, one of those conventions. You know, I call them the backslappers because everyone goes to the conventions. It's all that big networking nonsense. They're all backslapping, all kind of good stuff. All the while, um, and he's in the paratransit uh, industry in prominent city. Um, want to know how we could help them. But here's what I love about it. When people will, people will send us emails and they already have everything figured out. They already have everything figured out. And then they just want my help or my team's help to kind of like be the, the salt or the special sauce that they want to sprinkle on top. So they want to do everything their way and they just want to know, well, can I, how can I just use you just as like a little additive, just a little sprinkled sauce. Listen, if that's all you need from us, you don't need my services at all. I'm just telling you, you don't. If, so what I prefer to do is for all of you who already have it all figured out um, and you only just wanna use this as a compliment to, to what you're doing, I would tell you wait and use us when you finally hit the wall and you realize that amateur hour is over. So keep doing it your way. So for all of you who continue to invest in all your ambulatory related vehicles, Keep doing that. Uh, for all of you that wanna to continue to invest in antiquated business model that is phasing you out. This is like this guy sent me this, this his, almost a resume, but you know, touting all his major accomplishments in life and all the businesses he's owned. I'm gonna be honest with you, dude, I don't care. When you enlist my help, my responsibility is to tell you not what you wanna hear, but to tell you what you need to hear. And I know that this, I know that this message, trust me, I know that this message is gonna make some of you guys unsubscribe, delete, whatever. I'm, I, you have no idea how cool I am with that. It's kind of like when I was coaching football, I used to tell my players, listen, man, don't be offended when a coach yells at you. You need to be more concerned about when a coach doesn't yell at you anymore because when a coach doesn't yell at you anymore, or give you firm instruction, guess what? That's when he's written you off. And I kind of equate it to this because so many people will engage us and send us emails and they want us to tell them what they want to hear. They want us to support their insanity. I call it the amateur hour. We're not going to support your amateur hour. When you enlist my help, when you come to one of my events, my responsibility is to get you to green, as in making money. My responsibility and focus needs to be on your bank account, bottom line. How can I get you to green making money? 
So like this guy who, he's, he's a professional back slapper, goes to every single one of the conferences, goes to all that nonsense, they pat him on the back. But if he plays the long game and if he watches the video that I just shared with you, he's done. So, so I'm gonna call him Ralph. It's kind of a joke, so I'm not gonna put his name out there. But Ralph, I understand you got your 10th place trophy that this, that this large international company that they give out to everybody, to all their providers. I know that makes you feel good. I get that. But what does it do for your bank account, number one? Nothing. And number two, play this out. If you just watched the video I shared, play this out two, three, five years from now. Ralph, you're done. So that that dust collector trophy, that 10th place trophy that they give to pretty much all their contractors, while that sits on your mail piece collecting dust, what does that do for your bank account? Now your bank account will collect interest and dividends depending on how you're invested. That, that dust collector, trust me, that, that's not gonna make any money. So Ralph, when you realize amateur hours over, and all these conferences that you're networking at and you're back slapping everybody and it's from all these vendors who are there promoting their services uh, trying to upsell you on everything when you realize amateur hours over then hit us up then reach out to my team and we'll be more than glad to help you that's why so many people you know for every, all of you who reserved your seats for um, those of you who I'm going to meet at the March Motown Madness in the great city of Detroit and those of you who we're going to see in the uh, wonderful city of Orlando down in the sunshiny state of Florida. Looking forward to meeting it, meeting with all of you. Got a lot of new faces, going to pour a lot of information, a lot of uh, content into you, answering all your questions. Very much looking forward to it because of all the new faces. And um, I love it. And I really, I can't thank you and compliment you enough. And the reason why I literally compliment you is because it's, it's, especially for those of you just starting out, A, you see the growing opportunity. We already, everyone knows, it's coming out. Elderly population, boom. It's booming, it's gonna double by the year 2030. There's gonna be more elderly people than there are younger people. That's just a fact. So we automatically know demand is going up. So let's go back to the video I just shared with you. When you look at that video, Think about all the services. Demand is going up, which means opportunity is going up, and all those services that we talked about, the ambulatory, the fixed route, the paratransit, they're all going to be cannibalized and gone. So the Ralphs of the world who got their 10th place trophy for being the best provider and subcontractor, they're gonna be gone. Your job, your business, outdated, gone. What did they not show in that video? Did they show anybody going into a hospital and getting a discharge in a wheelchair and a stretcher? Did it show anybody uh, going in and getting anyone out of a rehab facility, getting someone off a dementia ward, someone who has uh, limited faculties, who has cognitive problems, physical problems? Does it show any of that? Absolutely not. That's why I've been telling you for how many years now, if you want to build a successful medical transportation business, you have got to focus on the wheelchairs, the stretchers. You've got to form great strategic partnerships with the hospitals, the rehab, the skill care. I mean, again, I know so many of you have already cut out of this video right now because you've heard this message for so long. But how many more times do I have to say it? Again, this is why I congratulate all of you who have enlisted my help, and it really does, it humbles me, I'm honored to work with you, especially those of you who are humble enough to listen, because so many people, you know, I'll give you a classic example, we had someone, um, I don't remember if it was Dan or Charlie, someone emailed one of them and said something, well, I've been in the medical industry for 20 years, and I, I purchased your ebook, and I didn't learn anything new, how can your services help me? Ah, they can't, we're done, at that point in time, Again, I don't remember if it was Dan or Charlie, they said, uh, our services really can't help you. You can go online and find a lot of free stuff, just follow that stuff. I, I understand you've been in the medical industry for 20 years, but have you owned a successful medical transportation business? Have you owned a successful home care business? Because if you haven't, it's completely different than whatever your career is. So for you, to, for you to say that you have not learned one single thing new in my ebook, then that's something that, I mean, I, I can't work with you on that. I'm just gonna be honest with you. If, 
because I could pick up almost anything and at least think or come up with one new idea, strategy, tidbit of information. If you're telling me you could read one of my eBooks and you didn't, you didn't find anything new, and then you still want my help, I don't work with you. Because if you can't, I mean, again, you could say, Joel, you're biased. You're absolutely biased. You think your, your, your SHIT doesn't stink. Your stuff is that good. Well, my stuff is good. Um, yeah, my stuff is good. But for someone to say they haven't learned one single thing new, uh, we can't work with people like that. Or here's, here's one. People, people, we had people who said uh, they couldn't travel to Detroit or they couldn't travel to Orlando because, well, it's too far. It's too far. Cancel clear. Keep doing what you're doing. We have airplanes. There's things called cars. I mean, there's so many ways to get to an event. It all depends on how hungry and thirsty you are to learn more. Bottom line, I'll give you the best example. This is from years ago. I actually held an event here in upstate New York in my hometown. This is a couple years back. I'm not exaggerating when I say this. I'm an hour from Syracuse. So I'm in upstate New York. I'm an hour from Syracuse. I was having an event here in my hometown. We literally had a guy who runs a NEMT business up in Syracuse email us and said, hey, Joel, when do you, I can't make your event. When are you going to have an event here in Syracuse? I'm an hour away from Syracuse. And this guy is so hungry, so thirsty to learn one more. Learn that one thing. Learn that one thing that he has to wait for me to go to Syracuse. Guess what? He's still waiting because I'm not going to Syracuse. But here's the best part about it. That same event, we had a girl who was a private contractor who at the time was working in, I want to say Afghanistan. Maybe it was Iraq. I think it was Afghanistan though. She was working as a private contractor in Afghanistan. That same event where this guy from Syracuse said, hey, Joel, I'd love to make it, but I can't make it. When are you coming to Syracuse? We had a girl in Afghanistan take leave travel from Afghanistan all the way here to come to my event. That is, that is crazy. Now you want to talk about a first place trophy, she gets the first place trophy because that is hunger right there. So for all of you people out there who couldn't make an event before because, well, it's a little too far and you couldn't leverage technology and airplanes, keep doing what you're doing, man. Keep doing amateur hour. Joel, you're so cocky, you're so obnoxious, you think your stuff doesn't stink. I'm just telling you what works. What, I mean, what more can I tell you? I'm just telling you what works. Now, I know a lot of you, you, you want to kill the messenger because you don't like the message. I get it. Delete. Unsubscribe. You guys already know the reason I don't do all the comments below and answer everyone's nonsense is because I don't have time and I don't care. And here's the beautiful thing. I'm in a great situation where I don't have to beg for subscribers. I don't have to beg for sales. I don't have to beg for money. And that is the goal for you. Put yourself in a financial position where you are personally empowered. And how do you do it? You stop with amateur hour. Bottom line. How many times have I told you what's coming in the future and so many people will reach out to us and you still want to build your business model based on an antiquated system? You cannot build your business model not just 10 years ago, not just five years ago, two years ago. I mean, things are done. They're changing. If you watch that video and you can't appreciate what I'm saying and what's coming in the future, then keep doing what you're doing. Engage in amateur hour. But when you finally hit the wall, when you're finally done with amateur hour, when you finally realize you need change, when you finally realize, you know what? Your business model needs to be overhauled. You're tired of working and working and working and getting low returns. What do you, classic example. I know I'm going off all over the place, but I love it. I just love this stuff. What do you think is going to happen to all these Medicaid brokers when you watch that video? Do you think there's not going to be a complete overhaul and shakedown in the Medicaid broker system with that? Hmm, I wonder. Is the government going to further work to reduce cost by leveraging and deploying this type of technology? Hmm, I wonder. How is that going to affect all these brokers that so many of you are just, oh, you're just, you are so in bed with these brokers and you have built your business to be so dependent on your Medicaid work? Hmm, I wonder. How is the technology that you just witnessed in that video, once that's deployed on a grand scale, Hmm, I wonder, how are things going to shift and, and sift out 
uh, with regards to Medicaid brokers, the volume and the number of Medicaid brokers, there is, it, ask yourself, do some simple Google searches. Figure out and start to monitor and watch and see all the different, uh, how a lot of these Medicaid brokers look at a lot of their acquisitions and mergers. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder if the acquisition and mergers of brokers and the different types of things they're investing in and partnering with, I wonder if that is indicative of some of the coming changes. Hmm, I wonder. But you're right, Ralph, with your 10th place trophy, because everyone gets one. You're right, your way works. I get that, I understand that. Listen, for all of you, if you're still watching to this point, kudos to you. Many, I promise you, I know many people have deleted, many people have cut out. For those of you still watching, I appreciate it, I commend it, you're awesome. I'm sure I'm gonna meet a lot of you in Detroit, I'm gonna meet a lot of you in Orlando. Looking forward to it, looking forward to working with you. I congratulate you because if you're still watching this, that means you're hungry and you're humble. And here's ultimately, here's, I'm going to tell you right now, there's a lot of things to take away from this video. If you could open up your mind, there's a lot of things to take away from this video. There's two things, there's two, two words I want you to remember. And this is exactly why I congratulate you on reserving your seat in Detroit, in Orlando, uh, doing the coaching, all that stuff. Uh, access and time. Access and time. I have a great ability and opportunity in working with so many different people around the country. It affords me just a huge opportunity to learn on a macro scale of what's happening around the country. And you have no idea how much I appreciate the opportunity. That's why I welcome, I love the opportunity of working with so many of you. But when you attend one of my events, when we're working together, there's two things that you're investing in that you really didn't even consider. Time and access. Can you learn a lot of the things I know? Absolutely, 100%, but guess what? This has been almost like a lifetime of work. That's a lifetime of accumulation of work. When you attend one of the events, when we're doing one-on-one, -on -one, all of those things get consolidated for you. Because as I pour into you, you are saving time and you're gaining access. Two critical things. Again, there's a lot of things I want you to take away from this video. But the two things in wrapping this video up that you, I absolutely congratulate all of you on who are who I'm going to meet in Detroit and Orlando, time and access. And whether you know it or not, that is exactly what you invested in. I'm going to pour in a lot of information. Uh, I'm going to give you a lot of tactics. I'm going to give you a lot of strategy. But the two key things that you invested in that you have no idea that you were doing, I suspect that you have no idea you were doing, when you made your reservation, when you made your investment, are time and access. You are going to save yourself so much time, so much money, so much effort by gaining access to what I'm gonna share with you. So kudos to you. You have no idea how humbled and honored I am to be able to work with you and meet with you. Again, because there's so many new faces, there's gonna be some new pe uh, 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 some people who've been to some of my other events, great, looking forward to seeing you again. But the new people, uh, I, I'm really excited about meeting you because uh, some of you are coming from quite quite a distance. And again, that just demonstrates your hunger and your, your thirst and your humility to learn more. And that's what I love. So for everybody out there, when you're done with amateur hour, when you're not going to just use me as a, a supplement, a special sauce, as a, just a compliment to what you're doing, if you already got it all figured out, you don't need me. You don't need me. But once you realize that amateur hour is over, then reach out to my team because obviously we provide a lot of information, a lot of resources, you know, a lot of time and access. So I know I'm long winded, but guess what? I don't care because here's the deal. If you're still watching, there's only one thing I could possibly do and that's see you at the top.